The loading speed of a web application has a massive impact on a user's first opinion. If the site fails to show suitable material quickly, the customer just leaves. This is a huge problem, and we'll tell you about the seven best tips to speed up your online product in this video. At the end, we'll give you a list of useful apps for the web developer. Watch till the end. We're Jelvix, and you're on our channel. Weekly videos on tech in five minutes. According to Google, making a page load faster by just one second is a huge bonus for your business. Statistically, this improvement boosts mobile conversions by 27%. And that's amazing. How about this? Loading speed affects the customer's desire to use your services again. According to Shopify, 79% of people won't buy anything from a site that just took a long time to load. But what can we do about it? The developers at Jelvix gave us some relevant tips. But first things first, you should pay attention to the server response time. The time it takes for a server to respond to a request is a critical aspect of website performance. Several factors can impact this criterion, including 1. Server hardware. The hardware used for the server can impact the speed of the response time. Upgrading the hardware, such as the processor, memory, and storage can help to improve response time. Or if you bought hosting, pay attention to your hosting plan. Different hosting providers offer varying levels of performance by default. 2. Code optimization. The code used to build a website or web application can also impact response time. Poorly optimized code can lead to longer response times, while well-optimized code can help to improve response time. 3. Request load. The number of requests being processed simultaneously can also impact response time. A high number of requests can lead to longer response times, while a lower number of requests can help to improve response time. 4. Database optimization. The database can also impact response time. Poorly optimized databases can result in longer response times, while well-optimized databases can help to improve the situation. Now, the second tip is about content size and complexity. Large files like images, videos, audio, and dynamic content, like real-time updates or user-generated content, can slow down a website as it requires additional processing power. To improve performance, you can optimize the size of files cache dynamic content, and minimize code complexity. Now let's make a proper page structure and design. A poorly structured website with a cluttered layout can make it difficult for users to find what they're looking for, leading to increased load times and decreased engagement. To improve performance, you should strive for a clean and organized page structure with a clear and straightforward design. The next tip concerns image optimization. Images are a crucial part of many websites and web applications, but they can also significantly slow down performance if not optimized properly. To improve performance, you should optimize the size and format of their images and use modern image formats like WebP or JPEG 2000 where possible. The fifth advice is about using external scripts and plugins. The use of external scripts and plugins can significantly impact the performance of a website or web application. These scripts and plugins can add additional processing requirements and slow down the site's overall performance. To not let that happen, you should minimize the use of external scripts and plugins and ensure that they're optimized and up to date. Now, what about browser cache management? Proper cache management can significantly improve the loading time of a website by reducing the amount of data that needs to be loaded from the server. To improve performance, you should ensure that the cache management strategy is optimized to your specific needs. The seventh tip, check browser and device compatibility. The compatibility of a website or web application with different browsers and devices can also impact performance. To ensure optimal performance, you should test your site on various browsers and devices and make any necessary changes to ensure compatibility and optimal performance. Last but not least, the concept of a content delivery network. 
A content delivery network, or CDN for short, can significantly improve the performance of a website or web application by distributing content across a network of servers, reducing the load on a single server, and improving the site's load time. Jelvix developers use these methods every day in their work. You should try it too. Now, as promised, let's break down some valuable resources. Google PageSpeed is an excellent tool for measuring page load speed. Kraken.io and JPEG Mini are used by many companies to optimize images. With Semitext Experience or Screaming Frog, you can monitor and identify slow-loading HTTP requests and resources for your actual users. Rackspace CDN, Google Cloud CDN, and Akamai are some of the best CDNs available on the market. Have you ever wondered why React is so popular? We have a great video about it. Just check it out. You'll be surprised. Support us by leaving a comment or liking this video. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. Our contacts are in the description. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe. Bye for now.